everyone, we're going to make a pendant today, um, which is made out of resin and nail polish. And it kind of gives it a bit of an amber look to it. And I have some resin left over from a different project. So I thought I would use it to, um, to show you how to do the project. Here's one that I made. I haven't um, cleaned it up yet. Um, but it kind of discolors it a little bit and makes it a little bit yellow. So it gives it a look of amber, like something is stuck in the amber, but this, like something stuck in the amber stone. So we're going to give that a shot. I'll show you how I do it. Um, I have my Easy Cast resin, which I have made plenty of. And it's actually left over from another project. So I'm going to put two of these in here. Okay. Now you can decide to let this sit for a little bit or do it right away. Alright, and all you're going to want to do is, let me get you down here, is take your, take your nail polish and drip it into the resin. And it kind of will start to spread. And this the stuff I'm using happens to be metallic. And it starts to kind of spread across the surface a little bit. Throw a little purple in there. Let's see if I can't zoom you in. get enough on there so it'll drip off. There we go. And some nail polish is thicker than others. Um, I just let it sit. I would think that you could take it um, a toothpick or something and do something also but when you put that next layer of resin on it seems to kind of make it all swish around anyway. So you can have a plan, don't have a plan, it does not matter. You can add glitter if you want to. Um, see the resin must be hardening a little bit because the blue isn't spreading quite as it had before. black in there. And the funnest thing about it is just experimenting to see what how it all turns out because it never turns out the same and there doesn't need to be a plan in place. kind of the fun of it. Okay. So we have that on there. We'll let that sit for a minute and then we'll take the resin and pour it on there again. And it kind of, kind of spreads everything out and mixes it a little bit. And we will let that dry. Now I didn't do the best job of pouring it neatly, but that's okay. It can always be cleaned up, but it looks like it's going to be kind of neat. Now what I also do now is I'll take, I have these cut cans from another project and I just put it right over um, my project to keep the dust out. Here are the pendants. It's the next morning and it's dried. I'm going to just squish them out and see how they turned out. Here's the one, and 
and I just need to trim up the side where I had a little spillage. And I'll just take a nail file and clean that up a little bit. Here's the one which is, is fun. It looks like it's all floating in the middle. And here's the other. I will trim that up as well. And that one has a little sparkle in there. And everything's floating too. So it gives it a look of, like I had said before, the amber pieces where in nature bugs and stuff get stuck in there. So I hope you give it a try. I would love to see what you come up with. Um, check out our blog and don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Happy crafting. Have fun. Bye.